Hey, coming up this time, I am doing my nails and we're going a bit longer today. And yeah, 3D, crystals, multi-layered acrylic, all that shebang. If you're new here, welcome, my name's Sarah. Don't forget to subscribe and like and comment, say hi. This is my old set. It was well and truly grown out, so I actually removed it. And look how lovely my nails had grown underneath. Beautiful. But we're going in now with some extra long tips. Yeah, I'm going to cut them down. So I'd initially done something on my right hand, which I didn't like the 3D at all, but my left hand is rubbish at 3D. So I've trimmed these tips down. And I'm just going to quickly show you, I hold that file nice and straight and I'm just going to bring them in, shape them now because once I put the product on, that's even thicker to file. So get them in nice and snatched. Is that still a word? Do they still use that? Snatched? I don't know. Um, and also that free edge, just tidy that up. And then I'll just, even though they are, you don't need to file in the joining area, the seam, I suppose you'd call it. Um, I still always just give it a little buff, just a little buff, darling, just a little buffy buff. And then I'll just buff over the nail plate again, um, just quickly. And get rid of the dust with Gerald. Dusty, dusty, dust. Lovely. Make sure everything's nice. And then once I've done that, I am going to get some isopropyl alcohol and just wipe over. Any last little bits that were remaining shall be gone. And once that's dry, I am going to prime. Now I'm using Nail Mate today. Um, I'm going to be using Custard Pie. Look at that. And on top of that, I'm going to be using Lemon Sorbet. Now, my... I So... I've got a new favourite pair of dungarees. They've got sunflowers on. I've also got a cardigan that matches with the same colour. And then my son bought me a Fitbit the other day with the sort of mustardy, yellowy strap. So then I had to do the nails the same colour. Right, I've primed them. And then I'm going to do a thin, clear base on each nail just to protect in case I want to redesign. I might not. I might soak them off. But you never know. I might do a redesign in a couple of weeks. If they last that long, I've not had nails this long for ages. I can already confirm that I've struggled to, um, like, use my phone touch screen. <laughs> right, so I'm going in with Custard Pie. This is a, not a structural acrylic. It is an artistic acrylic. So you kind of paint it on. And just build up the coverage throughout the nail. I'm back to using my bigger brush because these are bigger nails. But I don't know. It just felt... I don't know, different. Well, it does when you swap brushes, doesn't it? But, yeah. This brush was playing up last time I used it, so I stopped using it. It was all right this time, but it just felt a bit big. <laughs> yeah, I got used to... Oh, I got indigestion. I got used to a size 8. That's what it was. In with another bead. These beads, I always work quite wet. And I just sort of, like I said, paint them. You don't want any bulk, really, because if you bulk up with your colour acrylic, then you're going to end up with a really beefy nail. And loads of filing. i just tidy up my edge a little bit there. There we go. Lush. Okie dokie. So once that starts to set, I'm going to go in with Lemon Sorbet. Again, sort of wet because I'm going to brush it throughout. And it just lifts that colour so nicely. Gives it a bit of sunshine, summer sparkle. There was a big bit of mylar in there and I was like, get out. You're too big. Get out. Just add a little bit more down here. Again, working wet and I'm just brushing it through. Just so it's got a shimmer and a sparkle and some texture. Lovely. Right, I'm happy with that. So I'm going to do the custard pie colour on the other nails. I'll show you one more nail. It's really difficult trying to film my hand, actually. It's really annoying. Like, so I want to get a good angle for you, but it's quite difficult to work 
that far away from my own hand and twist my hand to get the angle so I can see what I'm doing. So I was doing this and my, my, cause I've got like double jointed thumbs. Um, my hand kept going into spasm and my thumb was locking. Oh, it was so painful. Like there. Oh, get it out quick. The joint stays like that and it goes into like a spasm. Oh, so painful. <laughs> But, yeah, it didn't happen again after this, thank God. It was just me putting it back in. Okay, tapping at the cuticle just to make sure it's nice and softly flush and not kind of flooding or anything. So they're all done, as if by magic. So now we need the lemon sorbet on top of those. This is so gorgeous. Such a gorgeous acrylic. I like anything sparkly. I've also got the strawberry one. Oh, so good. It's like a soft pink. Okay, cool. Look at that. I've also got something to show you at the end of this video because I had a bit of PR. A bit of PR. Oh, excited. Tabby tap. Get it in. Look, they're all done now and they look like the sunshine, don't they? Don't they look nice? So I'm just going to wet the nail a little bit and I'm going to get a big old bead of clear acrylic. Do you remember? If it ain't matte, it ain't capped. It all needs to be capped in clear acrylic to keep it safe so that we don't lose that beautiful glitter when we're filing the shape. And that's why we keep our base layers thin is to make space for this big bad boy. This is where we put in our apex, our structure, Make sure everything's even and smooth throughout the nail. And I'm just gently patting and walking that bead down. It's a bit difficult when you're tilting your nail from side to side because it wants to flop because it's in a flow state. It just kind of wants to go splat over to the other side. Hello, Mishi Moo. Sorry, that's my cat, Misha. Mishi Moo. Yes, I hear you. Come say hi. Are you a pretty girl? As you can see, I'm trying to pay as much attention as possible to the structure and like keep everything nice and neat because I don't want to have loads of filing. It's my worst nightmare, filing. I hate it. Good girl. Same here. I'm trying to film it for you, but it keeps going out of focus because it wants to focus on my hand in the background, which is so annoying. But... I'm just walking that bead through the nail. And what I'll do is I'll just periodically check from other angles to see to make sure it's not uneven and to make sure it's well balanced. Also make sure I'm not flooding my side walls. Okay. I just added another little bead there because when I looked, I didn't like the shape or size of the apex. It just wasn't. Quite enough, I didn't think, to support the nails. It's been a long, 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 long time since I've had long nails. I don't know how long. Maybe you could go back through my videos and check for me, because I really don't know. That's how long it's been. Um, God, could even be like a year. Could even be more than a year. But I just felt like it. I felt like I needed it. And I would have had him longer, but I've got a puppy. And he's already, he really likes these. He likes me tickling his back with them. <laughs> he just lays there and I tickle his back and he's like, oh. So I'm doing the same on all these nails. It's quite straightforward. It's really repetitive. So I will kind of skip some of it so you don't have to um, go through it all and do your own heads in. Okay, so this is before filing. Everyone there has had their uh, cap layer. And this is after filing. All nice and neat. There we go. So we're going to get on with some of the art now. Straight away I'm going in with crystals. Obviously. This makes my soul happy. Having longer nails to put more bling on. 
don't mean a thing if it ain't got that bling, remember? That's how I feel, can't change it. Whenever I see nails with crystals on, my heart melts. Now the puppy is chewing a dinosaur. Okay, fair dues. This adhesive sticks really quickly and all of a sudden I was like, ah, trying to nudge it over. Just get over, go over. <laughs> it was all right in the end, sort of. I nudged it back in. There we are. Okay, so I'm gonna finish off with like a couple of small raindrops either side. The teeny tiny ones. And then I will bring this central part of the design down a little bit more down the nail. Just a bit more. There we are. How sparkly and beautiful. Very pretty. Right, I was gonna use these two colors for some 3D, but I actually changed out the darker color on the left. Um, I'll list them in the description box anyway, but first we're gonna top coat with Madame Glam No Wipe Top Coat, because it's the only top coat I actually use, because it's fantastic. Um, I really love it. There we go. Look at that, oh my God, those acrylics just pop. That lemon sorbet on top of the custard pie. I mean, you wouldn't eat the two together. Well, I'll give it a go. But you definitely wear the two together. Look at them. They just work so well together. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. So I'm going to do that on all the nails that don't have crystals on, which is four of the five nails at the moment. I really, at this stage, didn't know how I was going to finish this design. I'm just going to be honest. I knew what I wanted, but I wasn't sure how I wanted to finish it. Like, I knew that I wanted these yellow nails, but I knew I wanted 3D, and I couldn't get my head around what to do. And you know once you get a mental block, that's it then. All your skills go out the toilet, go down the toilet, I mean, or out the window, and you can't see for looking. You cannot figure it out. You're like, what am I doing? There we go. Lovely outer shot. I think the glitter maybe is so sparkly that it overwhelms the camera. I'm not quite sure. <laughs> Just got a little pinky in there. Just get the little pinky. And then that's that done. Then I'm going to top coat all around the crystals using a detailer brush. I'm not going to top coat over them because I want them to still have all those beautiful colors and look gorgeous. Have any of you seen, I've seen this video, well, I've seen a few videos going around on TikTok, diamonds that go in nails, certified diamonds that go, and you can encapsulate them. I mean, would you? I don't even want to encapsulate it. I want because I've seen them encapsulated and they don't look as sparkly as when they sit on top of the nail. I'm sorry, but they just don't. They still look gorgeous, but there's something about it sitting up proud. Right, here we go. These are the colours that I'm using. Sunshine, which is a lighter yellow with a shimmer. And the middle one, which I think is pumpkin spice. I'm not using the one on the right hand side. I opted out of that. And I decided to do like a three, almost like sunflower sunflower petals, um, but I didn't have a brown acrylic to do the center of a sunflower. And I was at this point extremely tired. It's been a long day. And I just thought, get these leaves on the nail. Teddy, stop chewing things. Puppy. It's the puppy. Does anybody want a puppy? Teddy. Oh my goodness. I do apologise. So, double dipping um, the brush, the 3D brush, into two colours of acrylic, the pumpkin spice and the sunshine yellow, and then waiting for it to mattify and pushing, patting, prodding, shoving, pressing until I get the shape that I want. I think they're all the doing words that I did. There we are. Off you go, puppy. He's a naughty boy. Um, and trying to stay in shot whilst twisting my wrist at angles it shouldn't probably be at. 
and poking my fingers into strange positions in order to get it in in shot, kinda. Yeah. Um, you won't believe how frustrating this was because it's quite simple to do on someone else, but on myself, I can't see it from the angle I want to see it from if I'm filming it. Urgh, really annoying. So there was a bit of faff and a lot of swearing, like a huge amount of F-bombs were brought out during the making of this video. But I did get there in the end and once I placed the leaves where I wanted them and smooshed them, squished them and sworn at them, I then added three more little crystals. I know it's not perfect but it's the best I could do where I couldn't actually see what I was doing. Um, I really need to, I don't know, become more double jointed. Then it was cuticle oil time. Now I've been sent these by Nick. Hi Nick! She's so sweet. Um, so I'll put the link to her website in the description box. It's called the Tough Love Nail Co. These smell amazing. We've got Coco Coconut, uh, Tropic Like It's Hot, It's Britney B, and Bubble Mint. She's got so many more on the website. I chose to have its Britney B because, um, well, I just, I like them all and that's the one I picked up because I had an idea for another video using this. So I was like, I'm going to use this in this video and perfect. And it smells amazing. It smells, oh, so good. So they're all beautiful. If you want um, a quick review of them, then check out my TikTok. I'll link it in the description box and look at her website, please, because the products are phenomenal quality. You will not be disappointed. Here's the final set. I really, really hope you like them. Let me know what you think in the comments and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.